Dear colleagues, good afternoon. Dear Amanda, dear Roman, first of all, I will thank both of you for the kind invitation for this international conference. It's a great honor for me to present uh, our campaign, No Design to Waste. Since two years, more than before, Design Museum Ghent opts for design exhibitions with social relevance. The exhibition, Out to See the, Plas the Plastic Garbage, was an outstanding, outstanding example of that. The exhibition touches on the burning issue of plastic soup, the plastic waste that's floating about in the, in the planet's oceans and the in huge impact on the sea life. To the Swiss story about plastic garbage and the different sorts of synthetics, Design Museum Ghent had his own storylines and presented it on islands. In this part, contemporary Belgian designers show the many aspects of ecological plastic design. It spans from production, over recycling, upcycling, conservation of plastic furniture in our collections to con contemporary eco-design. For the promotional campaign, Design Museum Ghent worked together with Kocek a Ghent-based communication agency, which readily understood that sustainability was a central tenet of the whole story. Philippe Bullens and his team managed to make this come true in an unmistakable way in the campaign approach. Priority was given to sustainable and proactive communication. Promotion for the exhibition was essentially conducted on a digital platform without printed materials. A very unexpected move in the Flemish cultural sector, but it soon proved twice as, as effective. The, the agency of um, Philip Bullens developed after a huge of the huge uh, brainstorm with all museum collaboration, collaborators, a smart and effective campaign and succeeded perfectly in marketing our project. Kocek created a viral movie that made the public aware of the issue and stimulated them to visit the exhibition. Top model Delphine Bafor made an appeal to take part in a public campaign and literally went naked. Visitors would buy t-shirts with the slogans in the museum. In the museum shop. The proceeds went entirely to the Ocean Clean Up, the widely applauded project of 20-year-old Boyan Slat, a student at Delft University. Boyan had come up with a solution to rid the oceans of 7 million tons of plastic over a five-year period. The t-shirts were sold in our shop, as I told already, but served at the same time as a promotional medium. The clip soon went viral and clocked up 40,000 views in just three days.
the national and international price, press sorry, also sized on this clip or how a viral clip can become a mass medium. It also appealed passionatas from top fashion magazines such as Elle to trend-setting fashion blogs in New York. So far, the clip has clocked up about 90,000 views from all over the world. By choosing the catchy title, No Design to Waste, a powerful message that refers to the Greenpeace slogan and persuasive image we want to play on emotions and bring an inspiring and positive story. The campaign was meant to entice rather than sell. The slogan-based approach was also reflected in the exhibition. The red banners made our message instantly recognizable to the visitor. With this campaign, Design Museum Ghent managed to put itself on the social map. The exhibition drew lots of visitors across the, from across the country and from all over Europe. Families with small children and schools also find their way to this exhibition. The response was overwhelmingly positive. The museum alerted the visitor in a modern way and without adopting a moralizing tone to the effects of plastic waste on the ocean and the part that designers and consumers alike can and must play to turn the tide. It has also become clear to the tourists that Kent is committed to environmental, environmental awareness and sustainability. And last but not less important is the fact that Design Museum Kent received this spring a prize for this remarkable campaign as the best, tourist, as the best touristic, uh, touristic marketing campaign 2014. So, again, a lot of new attention for how to see the plastic garbage project. We still receive weekly requests for giving lectures or from colleagues from other museums from abroad. Thank you. <laughs>